Hey everyone, I'm Matt Reichel, owner of Boreas Campers, and we are going to do a walkthrough on our 2023 EOS 12. We're really excited to run you through the EOS 12. We've been working for years on the design and engineering behind this product, and the result has been that we've filled the gap between your smaller teardrop style trailer and your traditional RV, providing the accessories of the larger style, but still retaining off-road and off-grid capabilities. All right, we'll start up front here on the tongue of the trailer. It comes with the Cruise Master DO35 hitch system. This is absolutely the best coupling system on the market. We also option it with the parking brake. Behind that is a two inch receiver hitch, so you can put a single place bike rack right here. Behind that, all the trailers come standard with a full size spare tire. Comes with a 20 pound propane tank. This one is equipped with the additional 20 pound propane tank that comes with the auto changeover. Behind it is the oversized toolbox. So ton of storage in here. Also has a couple options here. You can put two bike racks up here or you can do the luggage rack option. Moving down the passenger side of the EOS 12, behind this door is more storage. So great for those bulk duffel bags, muddy clothes and shoes, things like that. Next to it is our 96 liter Truma fridge. This is the dual zone. This pulls out on the locking slides. Uh, when it is in its closed position, the one cool thing is that it's actually accessible from your dining room table as well. Another option you have here is to go with the Truma 105 single zone. As we continue through the kitchen side of the camper, uh, right here is a locking fold down table. So this is some quick, easy prep space while you're cooking dinner. Uh, behind it is our speaker system. This is also a dual zone speaker system, so you can have music inside and outside. Uh, up here you have your USB and 12 volt power points. Below the table you have a 110 power source as well. Uh, on the side of the camper you have your LED lighting for the late night cookouts. And up top here is your standard 270 degree awning. All right, at the rear of the camper here is the heart of our kitchen. This is our stainless steel pull-out system. So on your right here, you have a three burner Furion propane stove. That's 7,500 BTUs per burner. Uh, we also have the incorporated wind and splash guard. To the left of it is your stainless steel sink with hot and cold water. And that's tapping into 50 gallons of onboard fresh water. Below that, we have a pull-out drawer. So this is great for silverware and smaller items. Below the stove is bulk storage. So this is pots, pans, your griddle items like that. Up above and to the left here, we have our pass-through pantry. So this is great for access inside and outside the camper. So this is where you can put food, plates, bowls, things like that. So anything you need inside or outside the camper, you have quick, easy access. Moving to the rear of the camper, uh, you have your stairs and doors for access into the cabin. Uh, on either side, you have two welded on recovery points. Um, LED lighting all around with reverse lights, uh, access for your cassette toilet um, and your cabin door. Let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, well, we are sitting in the cabin of the EOS 12 at the dining room table. Uh, one thing I wanted to show before we pop up the roof is that when it is in its closed position, the space is still fully functional. So I can sit here, eat dinner, work on my computer, uh, sleep in the bed. So that's a great feature to have for some of that real serious inclement weather. Or if you're at a campground that doesn't allow for soft sided campers, you still have the option to use it in its closed position. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate popping the roof. Uh, I've undone the clips outside, but I'll show you how to operate it from the inside. So we have our safety carabiner here, which needs to be unhooked. Push up on the H-bar here, lock that in. Put in your safety pins here. And here. Move to the front. So another safety carabiner here. Unclip that. Push this up. Safety pins, like so. And you are ready to camp. 
Up here at the front of our camper is the permanent queen bed. So you, this is a east-west sleeping position. Uh, above that, you do have the overhead skylight with built-in screen and or shade uh, and LED lights. On both sides, we have Arctic turn windows, again with built-in shades or screens, and both of these windows pop up for great airflow. All right, below the sleeping area, you have access to more storage. So left-hand side, uh, some quick, easy storage for clothes, things like that. Uh, behind that is a second access point for our electrical system. Um, but one of my favorite features here is the access to the fridge. So no need to go outside uh, into the kitchen to get your drinks or food. You can be sitting at the dining room table, open this up, get everything you need without ever having to leave the camper. All right, so here we are at the dining area of the EOS 12. Um, so very comfortable seating for four plus easily. Um, what's really cool about this space is that it does fold down into additional sleeping. So uh, this whole pedestal is actually a gas strut assisted. So this table will drop down. This side of the bench folds out and you have a double bed sleeping in that north south position. Uh, we went with this style and this design and sleeping arrangements in order to keep people from not having to crawl over everyone in the middle of the night if they need to get outside or go to the bathroom. Um, below both of these benches on either side is also uh, more additional storage. One of the really important design features that we wanted in the EOS 12 was a bathroom. We were able to incorporate a wet bath system into this camper. Uh, so right behind me here is your cassette toilet, on-demand hot water shower, uh, you do have two windows in here as well, and an overhead light and fan. Uh, another really cool feature here is that uh, if you're running the heat in the winter, the floor of your bathroom is heated. For climate control in the EOS 12, it comes standard with the Truma Combi. So that runs your hot water and your furnace, so that keeps the camper warm, it keeps your water lines and your tanks warm. Uh, for summer in air conditioning, we do have the option to upgrade from a standard Max Air fan to the Truma Aventa air conditioner. Uh, that system is able to run off grid as well, off of our solar and battery pack. Uh, so no generator needed. Another cool feature that we have in the EOS 12 is the technology package that we've added. And that is based around the Garmin One operating system. So this will control everything from dimming of lights to solar and battery levels, water tank levels, airbag suspension leveling. Everything is controllable right here. This pad is portable and you are able to get uh, the app on your phone as well. All right, coming around to the driver's side of the EOS 12 here. Uh, we do have another hookup here for on-demand hot water shower. You could add the shower room enclosure if you liked. Uh, it also has the option to add an additional 180 degree on it. Uh, we have outdoor LED lights. You have your exhaust port here for the Truma Combi. And then right here is your fill for the 50 gallons of fresh water. So up front here, we have our electrical and utility area. You have your 30 amp shore power, and it's also pre-wired for the ZAMP portable panels if you wanted to expand on the solar options. Uh, behind this door, we get into the utility room. Uh, you have your Truma Combi, which is your hot water and your furnace. In front of that is uh, the electrical system. So that's going to be your inverters, your batteries. And this is really where a lot of those high-end components are coming into play. So we're running, you know, Victron, Garmin, Battleborn. And uh, the EOS 12 does come with 540 amp hours of lithium standard, but you can expand that up to 1,080. And that's paired with 300 watts of solar standard, but you can also expand that up to 500 watts of solar on the roof. All right, everyone, that's the walkthrough on our EOS 12. We are super excited about this new camper, and we hope that you are too. We feel like we've really hit it on the head in terms of a do-it-all camper, whether you're chasing the storm to the local ski resort or onto a backcountry adventure. So if you have any questions, make sure to reach out and we'll see you on the trail.